Welcome back to the This Is Therapy podcast, y'all. Today we got your host, Samuel Golisa. We don't have Cleo today, so we have Betty filling in as our co-host. And then we have a special guest today. I'll let him introduce himself. Drix, a.k.a. Drakester, a.k.a. Shit Boy I Drix, known as Drix's Laboratory. Check me on Twitter, Instagram. Say less, say less. So, Drix, so you're a cook, and how did you even um, become a cook, or what put you in that path? Uh, yeah, growing Just up. Straight to it. <laughs> how have you been? How was your day? <laughs> how was your day? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's my off day, man. You know, I'm cooling. Just chilling all day. Yeah. That's a big how was day? Did you work out today? Not today, but uh, le- or oh, I guess it was about twelve o'clock, one o'clock in the morning after work. Right, so bad. we get today. Same difference. Mm-hmm. You can count that as today. Yep. I'm do you take pre workout when you work out? No, I try not to. Do, really? Uh, I just drink water and eat. Really? So you're doing a one a.m. workout with no pre workout? It was after work. Yeah. And after work. Yeah. <laughs> for ten o'clock. Dedication. Hey. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, but yeah, it was. Uh, we went to the retreat gym. Really? Yeah. Is it not, is it good over there? It's good, man. I'm start going there frequently. They got almost everything in there. Really? Can you just get in there? Mm, no, you gotta have somebody. Somebody. Uh, to get okay. your, mm-hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. How was your day, Miss Betty? Yeah, good. Um, I don't take pre workout. I try out? not to. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, nice. <laughs> what did you do today? What did you work on? Um, today was leg day. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Can't skip leg day. You know. What did you do on legs? Um, I did squats. Mm. We're not talking about that though. Okay, we're talking about my day. <laughs> so my day was great. I mean, did something productive. So just chilling. Facts. Yeah. And you, my boy. And you. Oh, that's like, <laughs> yeah. Look at it. Yeah. I think my video dropped. Um, yeah. I edit and my video dropped. So if you're watching this, go watch the video. But nah, nothing crazy today. Slept in a lot. What time did I get? Like 12 o'clock. I didn't get out of bed until like 12 o'clock today. Same. Nah, yeah, it was bad. I was like, damn. I got out of bed. I was like, shit. I literally got like two hours. Is y'all here? Is that going to be in this? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. What? Screen, wow, someone, someone died low key. <laughs> hey, you still hear me from this? Yeah, all right, cool, cool. That's tough. Uh, oh, they're all right, <laughs> guys. Stop getting distracted. No, I'm definitely <laughs> worried. Yeah, What's up? So yeah. No, I just don't want to, something like come through the glass, Man, something, man. exactly. You gotta Jump. be aware of your surroundings. And my back's facing it. I know Betty's not gonna help me. She's just gonna take me. exactly. <laughs> Betty's gonna take off running. <laughs> not tell nobody. Exactly. Man. Okay. She don't Funny. care about nobody but herself. Anyways, <laughs> Drex. So tell us about your business. Like your, you know what I mean. What? Your your business, like your food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean like your business business. Uh, no, nah, it's a business dresses laboratory. You can check me out, Chef Boy Drex. Uh, I try to cook because uh, I work two jobs currently. I try to cook on my off days. I post my menu, and it'll be different things every week. If you want something that you want me to cook that's not on the menu, you can just DM me and let me know. Do you charge extra for that? The same price I would if I put it on my menu. Really? Mm-hmm. It's just four dollars delivery. Respectfully. Mm-hmm. You only deliver it then or? Yeah, right dirty. right now, just and then if I plan on going like sometimes like Rowlett or I'll say Rowlett, Saxy, Garland, or nice. wherever in the area, and I'll do that. You trying to squeeze rock on to that group? <laughs> <laughs> you just down the street, you right next door. I got you. That's crazy. So I remember you telling me that your dad was a big influence in cooking. And so I think you say he learned cooking from his grandma, right? Or his mom, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nah, yeah. His mom. <laughs> my, my grandma. Yeah, grandma. His mom, yeah. Uh, he, t- he would tell me he would uh, sit in the kitchen watching her cooking all this. And yeah, that's how he, he be, he's the one, the main one cooking in the house. And mm-hmm. I guess, yeah, that's why. It's just in my head. And plus, I'm Drex the second. He's the first. So I guess it's really? just in my DNA. Nah, yeah. mm-hmm. Are you the oldest? Uh, Yeah, the oldest of three. Three. 
Um, sisters or brothers? Uh, the second is the sister, and the third is the brother. brother? Mm-hmm. That's a good balance. They're like, yeah. they're, uh, what you call it? The twins, where they're, uh, they're born 11 months apart. 11 months apart. Ah. Uh, it's a name for it. <laughs> I don't. No. You can look it up on Google. Oh. Yeah. Sure, I remember. I remember it later. But yeah. I thought you were actual twins. I'm like, that's cool. Nah, it was like my sister was born in January, and then my brother was born in December. Oh. Uh, yeah. That is kind of cool, low key. Mm-hmm. To born in the same year. Yeah. That's dope as fuck. It's a name for it. I just. I feel like there's a name for that. That's yeah. too cool not to have a name. <laughs> <laughs> it's something twins. I know for sure. I just can't think of the something. I don't like year twins. Hmm? Year twins. Year twins. Yeah, but I don't. Because they're born in the same year. That would no. be it. Then. <laughs> 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 no. Yeah. So being the older, being the oldest, and actually, are you? Do you cook? Oh, like, do your little siblings cook as much? <laughs> My sister, she actually. Uh, she started, just started her own little cupcake thing. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's Cupcakes by Jay. I believe on Instagram. <laughs> if you're in the uh, SFA area, she can hook you up really? for sure. Marketing. Marketing. Mm-hmm. Guys, it's family marketing. Love that. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get there. You got to bring it up. Did you? Did your dad, did he only cook or did he bake too? He did. He did Everything. almost anything, man. That's uh, crazy. He, uh, he does the cakes, cupcakes, uh, peach cobbler, banana pudding. You know, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so that's how your sister learned about the cupcakes, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Is it a family recipe or just just being I good at it? I guess something, uh, I think he got he got printed out something he saw on the internet, and then that's how you do it. And then, of course, I guess you got your own little thing yeah. here and there. But. He got. He gave me a couple of the recipes that he used. And I said, "Case be fire too, man." Right. I wish he was making more like he used to back in the day. Miss it. Take me back. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Betty? Honestly, you just could just talk about. about Do you have any like family cooking? Being Ethiopian, there's a lot of culture right. within your food. Well. Like I don't, hey, man, we don't have like. We got <laughs> <for popcorn. laughs> so, <laughs> no, we don't have like a family recipe or anything. I feel like everybody puts pretty the, much the, the same, same thing. thing. Not like traditional foods. Mm-hmm. Um, like nice. what? I'm curious. Like what? Like, like what recipes? It would be like, I don't know what they're called in English. Mm. Just say what's it. It's like. For the injera, it's like everyone used the same kind of powder, and it's just water, and then you just make it. Yeah. And then, like, for the condiments, everyone, oops, sorry. <laughs> and for the condiments, everyone just has, like, the same thing, like curry and onions and yeah. garlic, and everyone just uses Maybe. the same thing. Cause I need to start into, uh, put some curry in my stuff. I know it's supposed to make it spicy, right? Yeah. Do you know what's funny or like something that's interesting? I feel like African, there's not really like a lot of family recipes that are passed down. But in American culture, there's a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like people will be like, no, I can't give you this. This is my family. And they will die with that recipe uh-huh. in their family. I was thought that was, I, I was, I, I, at first I thought it was funny. I'm like, Americans are weird for that. <laughs> but then as I got older, I, I kind of respect it because I was like, damn. I could literally go to any Nigerian household and get the exact same. Yeah, milk, the exact same that's milk. what I'm saying. It might taste it. a little different just because each person cooks different, but yeah. same general idea. But every like black household, yeah, like yeah. fried chicken at Cleo's house, it's probably going to be different from how he makes fried chicken. Yeah, yeah. And like, likewise with crawfish or stuff like that. And pudding, feast pudding, yeah. yeah Especially y'all's desserts. Each mm. dessert, they're like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> this is banana pudding, not that yeah. lame shit over there. I'll be on that. <laughs> my, my, my grandma's banana pudding can't be beat. Exactly. I don't, I don't care who, your granny, your auntie, your mammy. <laughs> nah. I guess, like, that's why it's hard for me to, like, accept when people say, no, it's family recipe. Like, I can't share it with you. I'm just like, bro, like, do you not want me to eat good? Exactly. Like, <laughs> what's the big deal? Just because everyone back home is just like yeah. uh, like, like the whole country hey, got yeah, the same recipe like, hey you know if you add a dazzle of this you know it would be perfect mm-hmm. that's just but they're not with it huh but, but they're not with it 
No, y'all mm-hmm. not with it. Like yeah. sharing. Yeah. No, yeah. Like Americans are like Janelle has this recipe for um I don't know, some butter that she makes from home mm. or her mom makes. And I asked her about it and she's like, No, I can't share that. Like it's family recipe. I'm like, yeah. What do, what do you mean? Like and they'd be dead ass with that. Like yeah. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I used to think they were joking about it. I'm like, so you want to tell me that? Like, no, nah, like, back your ass up. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, relax. I say, if you give me a million dollars, I can give it to you. Why is that, though? Yeah, why do y'all, why do you? Like, I thought we were best friends. Like, I thought we were family. Our family, yeah. yeah. And, like, <laughs> See, now you don't want to share are. your family secret? That's just not blood, unfortunately. Whoa. Oh, so why should that's, that's only your crazy. blood eat true. good? Like, do you... You can always order from me, and I got you. So what if I yeah, want it at 1 a.m.? If I'm up at 1 a.m. I got and you. And I feel like I want to make that stuff, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> that's so... That's not nice. What you, what's not? I'm making it for you. Yeah, but, like, I'm saying, like, okay, say you won't make it for me. Like, what am I supposed to do? Just, like, wait. oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I can't, I can't share the secret. No, but, like, why? It's a family thing. Where do you think that comes from? Probably not yeah. the generation before and generation before. Interesting. Talk about gatekeeping. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> and there'd be some good ass shit too. I'm like, bro, y'all yeah. just lame. Especially when it's yeah. mac and cheese. Like, yeah. It's my grandma's recipe. I'm like, bro. I can't do it. Won't do it. Mm-mm. You have a wristband. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> you <Nah. annoying. laughs> <laughs> you don't have any family recipes you can't share, man? Nah, what? Mm, nah. Can it, nah. Literally, like, you know how I made the turkey? Right. Yeah, I told my mom, and she was like, probably if you do it right, tell them to come over. And she was like, I'll show them how to make it. Mm. Literally. Cause I don't know why it's like that, though. Maybe because, like, in Nigeria or, like, even in Africa, we kind of grew up poor, so everyone had a share. To like on um, make it, where in America, you usually share your family is literally your blood family. While in Africa, our family is like everyone on the street type shit. Hmm. So like you gotta, hey, if I give you this, you give me some bread, put it together, we can make some peanut butter jelly sandwich mm-hmm. type shit. If all that the world was like that, we'd be so yeah. much better. Exactly. <laughs> but unfortunately, y'all want to keep y'all little punk ass secrets. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm keep it too till I die. And the thing is, I feel like it's nothing like crazy. I feel like it might just be they added like oregano or so, or like oh, what's your sour? Slap your mama. Yeah, or something. Because <laughs> like, remember how I put what's your sour sauce in my spaghetti and tasted a little bit better? I never put it, and then once I started doing that, it tasted better. And that's why I told people it was like my secret sauce. Mm. But that's just because. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. My secret sauce for my Alfredo is something simple like that. But <laughs> I'm not going to let it be known. <laughs> is, if I guess it, can I get one guess? Yeah. If you is guess it oregano? It, I nope. Ah. I actually like uh, Drex's Alfredo. Yeah. And I don't eat Alfredo. Oh, it's Uh-oh. Alfredo, not the fish that she yeah. said. Okay. Oh. I oh, thought yeah. it was, I don't know why I thought it was fish. You yeah, said catfish. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you heard my catfish? No, I don't. No, yeah, you don't even eat fish. I don't oh. eat fish. <laughs> <laughs> but the Alfredo was good. Yeah. I say it's just a can, and I just add one little thing. That's crazy. What is that? <laughs> is that what you want to say? <laughs> like the whole time why we're talking. Why did you bring it up if you're not gonna tell me? <laughs> I'm, I'm just letting you know how I make it. Because mm. people ask, and that's why I tell them. But if you guess it, I'll let you know. Okay. One guess, buddy. I don't even know what you put in Alfredo. Like, what would be right? It's a sauce. Okay. Hmm. Barbecue sauce. Okay. No. On to the next question. <laughs> Whenever you see some brown Alfredo sauce. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, like, not too much. I'm low key. I mean. <laughs> that is not a low key. Don't try that one, Drex. I mean, you never had like some barbecue wings on top of the Alfredo sauce. Nah, I never seen that stuff. Like all these here on the Instagram, when people have like Alfredo sauce with wings mm-hmm. and toast, I was just like, how like that didn't seem like a good combination to me. Have you tried it? Nah, I mean I never turned it down. I just right. said it just looks like a lot going happening. 
if I see wings, I want like fries and celery. If I see spaghetti, I want like pasta and like a salad or something. Right. So whenever I saw wings, I'm just like, damn, that's carbs on carbs on carbs. Hey, what they looking at? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. Hello. Uh, but nah, you never had no chick the chicken with the Alfredo. Chick- chicken oh no, Alfredo? yeah, chicken Alfredo. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. It's the same thing. Wings with the Alfredo. But it has a bone. It's not like a chicken breast slice though. But you're not eating the bone. Yeah, my God. I'll just fight through the bone. <laughs> 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 if I'm <laughs> eating Alfredo, and it's good. I'm not trying to think about no, but I'm just trying to chow down. Yeah. Are they look good. Hey. Oh, oh shit. Stop. Uh, huh. Why are y'all staring? They stare I hate black people. Oh stare. my no, gosh. Y'all so nosy. I see something walk behind me. I'm going to look to make sure. Mm, make sure they're on good vibes. Exactly. Good, good vibes. Anyways. Yeah, I was going to say something. Um, so, your dad, your sister, <coughs> I kind of already said this, but I still want to go back. Where do you see, like, within the next five years, where do you see yourself? What, I'm 23 or 28. Yeah. Damn, 28. That doesn't even sound right. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's <laughs> scary. Jeez. Uh, hopefully. Damn. Mm, nah, for Damn. Ah, oh, man. 28, you two years from 30. Basically. Basically, 30. 30. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm old. I'm old. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, my uh, hip hurts saying 30. <laughs> my hip hurts. <laughs> I'm back right I now. can't breathe. Man, but yeah, hopefully. By 28, I have either my food truck or uh, or a small little restaurant, maybe. Or maybe I, I've looked into a ghost restaurant. Not, they call it Ghost Kitchens. Ghost yeah. Kitchens. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll do something like that. But that's just starting plans right now. Yeah. Step by step. We'll see what happens. That's what's up. Well, what do you think you would have to do before you like get a food truck? I know, uh, like, probably get a license, have a look into well, not, not even like the legal, but like, when is it like you're getting too much order, etc. Like, all right, I might as well invest in that food truck. Like, oh, how oh. many orders do you think you have to be doing? Shoot, it won't, it's not even the orders. It's mm-hmm. really uh, when I get enough money, you know. Really, and I and I have my plan, my full plan. Because uh-huh. right now, I, right now it's just like a dream. I haven't written out or nothing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But once I do do that, then I can start looking to like investment people to invest in me and all that stuff. I, I had a, a family friend said she would like to invest in me, but I'm like I said not right now until I have a, yeah. a actual business plan exactly. for her because you can't you can't. That's get people's money. No one told you that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Respectfully, you that's get. smart. That's good. Yeah. But, um, yeah. By 28, I said by then I should have that up and running. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I put that for the goals. Do you have nice. a? <laughs> Radio over here is just like oh, oh my god <laughs> no it's cause like in my head I was thinking about like should I just plan ahead on my life or should I just go step by step and then he explained it he told us his plan and then he went like like backwards mm-hmm. and explained like how he came up with it mm-hmm. and shit and I was just like maybe I should do that yeah, maybe I should you try can't that rush it. Yeah, no, yeah. You know, take your time be patient like I didn't think I would get this far where I'm at now with my cooking from when I started I started like I said I was just selling the uh, Alfredo plates every day and then now I'm, I'm doing what catfish with yams in the mac or wings with yams in the mac wings and Alfredo you gotta try it <laughs> 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 uh, I need to bring my breakfast, breakfast back too, but that's that's some t- somewhere in the future as well. People have been asking for it for sure. Mm-hmm. What was your breakfast like? What'd uh, you have on that? Just some breakfast tacos. Or I'll do pancakes with the eggs and the bacon. You know, like some Waffle House stuff. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but right. Drex is laboratory. Drex is different. It's a different thing. You know, one day when Drex becomes like, like. Chef Ramsey type shit like up there. I'm gonna be like, yeah, he cooked for me when we were in college <laughs> for free, bitches. <laughs> now y'all have to pay for it. it you'd be like, he was my personal sh- um, chef yeah. during COVID. <laughs> during COVID, <laughs> yeah. Bit on my resume. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. What, what was it? What was the first thing I made? Was it breakfast? You made us breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. For Janelle's birthday? Yeah, Janelle's mm-hmm. birthday. I remember. Did they I pay was you? fucked up. No, I, I <laughs> it was their food. 
You know, I said, yeah. Oh, they brought the fiddlers? It's like, I, I had whatever they had in their crib. I was like, yeah. mm, okay, let me see. What you know, Jax came late to the party. That's why he cooked, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, he came, he did, he wasn't even late. He came when the party was, I was over. Late? Everybody was leaving. It was like. I was? Yeah. Because like, like by the time nah. he came, it was just. Michaela had went to her room, so that's probably when the party ended. <laughs> like slowly but surely, everybody left, and all we hear is Jax knocking on the door. <laughs> I'm like, uh. I came at the right time. Exactly. Yeah, but the we party. hung out. Mm. Yeah, played some games. Ate some good food. Ate some good food. I passed out. That was the first time y'all ever tried his food. Was it um, breakfast tacos? I don't know. I feel like we did a lot. During COVID, I can't remember. Yeah, Jasmine did a lot. We all just like oh, yeah, hung out a lot. Oh, this all happened during COVID, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we was all just hanging out, chilling. We had nothing else to do. Fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but kind of what you were saying about like goals, I feel like it's kind of like a mixture of like setting your goals, like ha- having like a five year plan. Like let's say five years, I want to have a food truck. But you can't just live in the future. So you have to like come back, be like, all right, what can I do today? Mm. And then that's when you just start doing your little baby steps. Baby steps turn into walking, walking turns into running, running turns into a car, a car mm. turns into a food truck. Yeah, Before yeah. you know it, you got your own building, blah, blah, blah. And you're just a big boy. So, so yeah. That's why I feel like even now, like, even like you say, you didn't think you would make it this far, like looking back at it, you on oh, how much you grew. I feel like a lot of it's just like taking it day by day. That's how I've been doing oh, it, yeah. man. Like, I'm surprised especially, you, especially like since you haven't, you're not big on social media. Mm-hmm. You've grown a lot, so imagine like if you just add that to it, like that's just. I say, yeah, that's, that's the same thing. It's just a matter of me. Just once I get to it, then I know it's gonna start happening. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I feel that. I say, yeah, especially with me working the two jobs right now, it's kind of. But I still, I still can't have time to do it. Mm-hmm. I, as soon as I lay down, now I'll be. Knocking out. <laughs> it's come with that age. Man, for real, I'm old. I, I got that since pain I t- right now. No, like since I turned 23, I've been sleeping a whole lot more. Right. I swear. This is when it starts. That's <laughs> dramatic. I'm not <laughs> I've been sleeping a lot more. Nigga, please. Yeah. Have I not? I feel you like I understand the pain. Yeah. How old are you? Like 21 or something? First of all, 22. See, so you're not Thanks. there yet. Yeah. You 23? Yeah. yeah me too. Exactly. Anyways. You still got like a whole nother year. Yeah, Enjoy you, it, man. Enjoy your youth. Yeah. <laughs> I like being 22. Those were some good years. I can't even miss them. I can't even remember it sometimes. Man. <laughs> <sighs> to be old. To be young again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, this is as young as you'll ever be. Young as I ever was? No. You would ever be. 20, 23 is a really, I guess I come about to be 24 next month That's when I really feel like really? I'm old. Yeah. I'm oh sure. my gosh <laughs> Yeah I'm old You said August 10th August 10th That's what's up um, mm-hmm. What are we doing? I don't know We're going to Mexico <laughs> Crazy I was supposed to be in Mexico last week really? I never got my passport <laughs> oh, Damn that's tough. You're lame No <sighs> yeah. I need to get my passport. You don't have a passport? No. That's something else I wrote. What do you mean you don't have a passport? How did you get over here? Or you never renewed? Or like, I had a passport, but Ethiopian passport, not American passport. Mm. And like, oh. passport expires after like eight years. Yeah. You got one? Yeah. Uh. That's something else. I thought it was a weird move to America. Like, not everyone has a passport when yeah. they're young. Yeah. Like, y'all waited till your 20s to get one. Mm-hmm. Like, Kyra just got her first passport. But, like... You be going back and forth a lot? Yeah, see, okay, I guess yeah. that's kind of mm-hmm. why. Because I remember, like, my parents said, take your passport for show and tell. I'm like, literally <laughs> everyone has one. But I still mm-hmm. took it. Nope. And I showed them. They're like, what is this? I'm like, it's a passport. I'm like, what's that? I'm like, it's like... You said uh, kindergarten, I, too? First, second grade. Still, se- yeah. yeah. second, third, something like that. Still pretty young. Mm-hmm. I'm like, it's pretty much like an ID, but... Yeah, I yeah, was about to say, It's like, just an ID oh. for all around the country. Okay, yeah, you're right. And they're yeah. like, huh? And the teacher had to explain it to them. I'm like, bro, Americans are weird. Yeah, we don't this is out. still, like, within, like... I moved here as a kid, so most of my time was spent 
inside with my parents right. and with uncles and aunties. So the first experience I ever had with other Americans was at school. And going to school, I'm just like, bro, like, y'all some weirdos over here. Yeah, we different. Nah, know? yeah. <laughs> Compared to, like, my cousins and all like that, I always thought, like, America, especially whenever I was young, I was like, yeah, Americans are very suspicious. Is that how you were, too? Yeah, like. Oh, uh, no, she was probably worse than me. What do you mean? Because, like, you you went out. Like, all I did was stay home. You grew up, went out, made your own friends, made your yeah. own, like, personality. And then moved to America. It's like, nah. No, as far as I know, everyone in my family had, like, passports. Mm-hmm. And, like, if there was ever any kind of issue, we had IDs. Yeah. But, like, you also need your passport for, like, a lot of things. Does that make sense? Yeah, I feel like a passport is just more um, valid than an ID. Yeah. Because you can fake an ID pretty easy, but it's hard to fake a passport unless you really like that. Hmm. Interesting. I ain't never never knew things like that. Interesting. Did you ever get your passport, though? Nope. When did you apply for it? Oh, I never applied for it. That that was the problem. (laughs) (laughs) I thought it, like, came later or something. I never even never even went to the website or nothing. Really? So how did you think you were gonna go to Mexico? Um, that's how I was supposed to. I was supposed to get my passport, uh, then I would have been. Like, I think, bro, who's singing out there? Sorry, that was kind of loud. Yeah, Sound yeah. like karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, it takes a good minute for a passport to come in. I've heard like a year or something or less. Whoa, nigga, <laughs> like a month I mean, or I, two. I mean, it could take a year, but you, oh, if you want it like sooner, the sooner it comes in, the more expensive it is. Mm. Cause you gotta like. Damn, pay. we have to pay for that shit, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, we gotta let like, our parents pay for our shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we just gotta get the whole renew. I don't think it costs a lot to get it renew. I don't know. What? I don't even have one. Oh yeah. What you just say? <laughs> American ass. I forgot. I'm bad bitch. <laughs> traveling around the world. Traveling. <laughs> it's funny because I I hate traveling. True. Yeah. I want to uh, start. I'm trying to. I want to go to New York, but that's still in the country. You don't even need a passport to go there. It'd still be nice to go. Yeah. yeah. The other place, I, I think the other place she said Mexico, because I just said I want to go to Mexico for my birthday. No, what? I've been saying I wanted uh, to go to Mexico for a while now. Yeah. For I was your, literally supposed to go with my aunt, but we changed our mind. Hmm. That's fine. Yeah. Like Cancun or something? No, um, we were thinking like a settled place for like a family instead of like party. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Man, I'm trying to get fucked. I'm not going to mess up. <laughs> I'm not trying, <laughs> I'm not I'm trying, not trying to remember it though. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't think I'm that kind of person when it comes to like vacations. Like, I don't want to go and get to well, like. A, I feel like Mexico, that's like. I mean, there's probably other stuff, but the only thing I've ever heard about going to Mexico is like just getting fucked up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like the resorts are nice and whatnot. Maybe Jamaica, I would want to do more. T- Jamaica online. for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I went to Jamaica, I want to <coughs> do more touristy stuff going out, going to the natural springs and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But like Mexico, I don't know. Mexico just sounds like tequila shots 24 <laughs> 7. You can yeah, take tequila, tequila shots. Party, Mexican music. Yeah. Exactly. Dancing. Mm-hmm. Sure. What's One next? Day. Tacos? Like Taco, Taco Burrito. Tacos. I mean, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> they have enchiladas. Yeah. Quesadillas. <laughs> Fajitas. Oh, man. Oh, God. Do you ever make stuff like that? Uh, quesadilla. Yeah. It's not just tortillas. Cheers but cheese. Tip of cheese. Yeah. I, I want to make them uh, burrito tacos. Burrito tacos? Burrito. Oh, what I think that? I'm saying it right. It's with that. The meat and that meat sauce, and you dip the taco in the sauce. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, I seen that. Have you had that? Mm-mm. Have you seen it? Do you know what it is? Mm-mm. It's like this red sauce. It's mm-hmm. pretty much they just made their taco. They cooked the taco or the t- the meat. No, what's the bread called? Tortillas. Tortillas. They, they cooked the tortillas with the meat sauce, pretty much. It's like how I make eggs with the baking grease, mm-hmm. essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it's good. So, mm, you probably yeah. seen it. Like they put some cheese and they like rip it off. Mm-hmm. That shit. I want some tacos now. Nah, yeah. It's Tuesday too. Taco it Tuesday. is Tuesday. Mm-hmm. We can get rusties. Hey. Rusty tacos. Rusties. Have you? Where yeah. is rusties? It's in like oh, off of not- downtown. Mm-hmm. Okay. We went to Torchies, bro. Like 
it's so expensive for just one taco. Really? Yeah. It's like five. It's like eight dollars a taco. You pay per taco. Yeah. Eight dollars a taco. Yeah. It's more for like margaritas. Yeah. It's more. No, it's just more for the experience and like some wild tacos. Hmm. Cause like the ones I got, like I got like a shrimp tacos with some a bunch of weird stuff in it. It tasted. It was tasted good, but it was like. I'm not going to pay you $40 for a bunch of tacos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. That shit hurt. I, I think mine's about eight, but I'll give you three little, the three street tacos. Yeah, yeah see, come to the Jason's laboratory. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, whenever you cook, do you do you have, like, a favorite, I don't know what ethnic group to cook? Like, like pasta is usually, like, Italian, tacos, Hispanics, yeah. stuff I, like that. I guess I would say soul food. Cause so, yeah, you know, that's who you are. It, yeah. Uh, maybe st- stir fry, stir fry and fried rice. I like that. You got I got the little wok from my friend. He's, he gave me that. Shout out my boy uh, Nick. Wok. A wok. Uh, wok pan. It's like the big thing. Mm-hmm. You got yeah. one of those? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you lit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Take me in the house. I just trying to learn how to do that. Whenever I'm cooking eggs, cause like I like to saute my onions, mm-hmm. so I like cut it up at the oil. Yeah. Try flipping around. Flip the same with yeah. pancakes and all that. Yeah. It's no, fun. I can't flip a pancake. I'll fuck it up. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's practice. Yeah, it's yeah. in the wrist. It's in the wrist. Like I heard. Yeah, I heard. Nah, yeah. Like I said, just, uh, I guess age. I need to look more into it. That's why I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn about different ones. I'm trying to ask her about the. Ooh, I turn it off. No, no I'm trying, I'm trying to learn about the Ethiopians and all the other uh, really continents and stuff. Would you want to cook like? Uh, Different culture foods. Yeah, for sure. Really? That's what's up. That's what I love. All food is good food. Well, majority food is good. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Not well, sure. shit. Like, I don't think we could cook shit. I, I they, can definitely cook something. Your native Show people? Me huh? Your native food? Yeah. She capped my. I know how to cook my native food. Like, not just the in jar. That's literally like what we eat, though. Yeah, what you just that? don't. But the injara is like easy. Injara isn't it just water and powder? Like I can't. I literally can't make that. Like we have to buy it because it's so much process that goes oh, really? into it. So there is this like, I don't. I don't like it when people explain it like a tortilla, but it's like a tortilla, like a pancake, and like you eat that with like different condiments. So like every little food we have. Like, whether it's, like, vegan or not or anything, like, any food, we have to use that tortilla. Mm-hmm. That's how we eat it. It's and like so your like, spoon. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's silverware for yeah. yeah. So, like, so that's... Far. So, like, I know how to make, like, the condiments, but I don't uh, know how to make that. Well, the tortilla itself? The tortilla, or, yeah. Man, not the tortilla. Huh? What's it called? Injara. Injara. Yeah. It's funny, because, like, my culture, we have something called fufu. I've heard of that. Okay, I've yeah, never had yeah. It. Cause we the cooler side. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but like that's it's kind of the same idea. But ours is like, what is it? It's like mashed potatoes. It looks just like mashed potatoes. Right. Do it yeah. taste like mashed potatoes? Nah. No. no. <laughs> it's like mashed potatoes. So you like kind of like squeeze it, and then you just kind of like use it. It's Eat. basically oh, like thing. flour. It's, yeah. it's, they oh, use the, it as a tortilla. Jar. Yeah, basically, and you just dip it in your soup. Like a dumpling. Yeah. It's right. like. So yeah, when you say that, I was still trying to picture in my head. I think I've seen it. Yeah. The foo foo is a dumpling. Yeah. yeah. Is this because what it is? I don't know what's in it. A picture. Yeah. <laughs> I, I he's think so it, confused. I think it's ground up yam. They just grind up yam. Oh yam. Yeah. And yeah, and dry sweet it potato? out. Into a sweet potato. Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. and they just dry it out. And once it's dried out, that's when we put. Uh, like you just package it and then you put take it home and you just put hot water in it mm. pretty much like I can make fufu fufu's not hard not it's a soup that's kind of hard like my mom would make me soup I'll go home get the soup and I'll make fufu in my apartment mm. so this this thing do I do it like what? Oh, okay. so this thing like the white thing oh. that's on the bottom that's like right. what goes around that's the tortilla thing I feel like she's that's not gonna show way. a valid picture Oh, that's in jar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the, t- like the top ones are just the condiments. And oh, that's that how was you real eat good. It. Oh, in jar. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's an I N. Okay. 
Yeah. I'm definitely. I'm gonna have to look into both fufu. And, and then and fufu is just something different. Right, you got the fufu right there. That's pretty much what it is. See, I, I, I I've seen that fish yeah. before. Yeah. And then like you just like put in. With I the definitely want to try it though. That's both good. of them. <laughs> do you like spicy food? Both of them. Yeah. You do? I yeah. say if it's too spicy, I can. I'm not gonna like it, but long tastes good. Yeah. Just give me some water. I'll be strapped. <laughs> <laughs> but like her food is probably gonna be more spicy than mine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't do spice. He doesn't do spicy, but I know like a lot of Nigerian foods are spicy. But like even my mom, she's not crazy about spice. So like she makes it spicy because she knows people like it like mm-hmm. that. But, but it's like, like tolerable spicy. Some people just do it over one minute, it's like they try and break the world like mm-hmm. about spicy shit, like you're doing too much. I think it's in my opinion, but that's because I don't that's like spicy food. That's how my food. mom is too, but me, I don't care. She spice likes spicy food? She doesn't like it. No, yeah. yeah. That's every time she... I come home, she even if I don't put something, she'll be like, I don't like food with spicy. I'm like, I didn't put nothing in there. <laughs> Sometimes I just know, like, it's like, I don't know. It's like PTSD of eating something <laughs> too spicy. Mm. So every time you try something that's like, looks spicy, mentally it's just spicy in my head. And so like, a lot of foods you bring, I just don't bother trying because I'm like, it's probably spicy. Yeah. Yeah. We have like this dish that's called um it's like a chicken stew. Like it's it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. But literally the whole flavor like is spicy curry. Like that's literally what they put on it. Like it's onions, you grill the onions and you put oil, butter and everything and then you put spicy like it's just like <laughs> <Listen>. the curry. <laughs> it's just like it's just curry. Like mm. it's so spicy, but I love it. Like I need to try it. Both yeah, put me on all the all the foods, exactly. all the recipes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I gotta go home. I need it. It's so good. It's been a minute. I know. I need. I need to uh, try the restaurants around. I know there's like a couple, maybe restaurants. And, yeah. I don't think in Denton. Like Not Dallas, in Denton. Yeah. Oh, in no, Dallas, yeah. In yeah. Dallas? Oh, yeah. There's Definitely. a lot in Dallas. So I'm saying good business to go into. Yeah. Not even gonna lie. That's why whenever you said you wanted to do it, I'm like, bro, you can low-key make some really good money if you want to, like, have, like, a world restaurant, I guess. Right. And, like, every week you you focus on, like, one continent. A different thing, yeah. Yeah, that'd yeah, go crazy. It, huh? if, when, if and when I learn how to do it, that's yeah. for sure. Into, into plenty with my uh, stuff, like the stir-fry, uh, the uh, fried rice. I feel like the only hard part is, like, the inventory. That's like going to a different continent every right. week. <laughs> sure, so I thought about that, too, man. The yeah. same thing with putting it in my fridge, man. But it's well, hopefully when I get there, I'm going to have it all handled. Ah, oh, facts. Mm-hmm. So what's so, been, what's been, like, your favorite part about this journey? Of cooking and like selling and being your own uh, boss. True. Uh, I guess meeting new people and everybody come around and hearing them, hearing them what they have to say about my food, uh, and seeing them out the way they hype it up. I don't know, just made me feel, feel good. Yeah. Feel that. And then having the consistent customer is nice. I just like it. That's why I got into it. That's why I'm gonna stick to it, man. I just like the feeling. Exactly. That's good. But have you ever had a bad review? I think you said no. No, I mean, yeah, I said. But when I first started with the breakfast, for sure, a man told me, uh, he said, "Ma, something wrong with pancakes." I don't know why, but and then he, I feel like he's just trying to get a female. He's like, "You man, can I go his girl?" I said, "For sure, bro, whatever." But then after that, he never ordered for me. Or he ordered like once, but then after that, mm, no. but I'm not tripping. Do you just use that as like? Constructive criticism and fix yeah, it up. I tell, I tell anybody if you got something bad, do not be afraid to let me know, man, because I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna fix it. Let's right. go. Take a look at champ. <laughs> yeah, got yeah. to build character. Yes, sir. <laughs> what do you see? Hold on, damn. I'm looking 20 at me. questions. Because <laughs> y'all keep on looking at me, I'm like, damn. No. Jexy, I didn't know you wanted to learn. Like, you could have asked me. Oh, my man, I could have, but now I am. Hmm? Saying I could have, but yeah, now I am. Okay. I feel like you should never learn how to cook traditional food for someone that, like, she probably won't take it back, but someone that's not married. Just because I feel like once you're married, that's when you're really cooking a lot. Because now you're cooking for different type of people. 
she know how to cook for different times. Mm. Like my mom, she only knew how to cook for herself, but then she had me. I don't like spicy food. My oldest sister loves spicy food. And then my sister and dad kind of like medium. So she knows how to cook for everybody. So she learned. I feel like he, she would te- be able to teach you more mm-hmm. because she's able to cook for more people instead of us. Like me, I could teach you. What are you saying us for exactly, though? I cook for my family. Do you? I do. Uh, I cook for my family. I grew up cooking. Your little brothers don't cook. I could like, always adapt to how. Huh? I, just, I, I could always adapt to how much I need to cook. Yeah. I just need to know the process and what it is. Yeah. But it's just like he keeps saying, like, us, we're not the same, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I cook for my family. I grew I don't up cook cooking, America. okay? I, well, you did. I grew up cooking for my grandma. Like, I grew up cooking for my brothers, for my family. So just keep your category <laughs> to yourself. Cause well, saying, I, I never got a plate, though. Exactly. <laughs> all this yeah. cooking. First of all, you never asked. I've asked. I know for sure I've asked. Okay, but then I, I don't know how I to cook, cook for you because <laughs> everything I do is just too spicy, too spicy for you. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wow. It's nah, like I'll take whatever he doesn't take. For sure. Exactly. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I'll wait for his plate to see if we can really cook it. Okay. <laughs> and let's set the date. Set. For sure, yeah. Don't play with me. Yeah. I'm not playing. Let's set the date. Oh, for sure. You're all, are you off usually on Tuesdays? Next Tuesday, I am. Shit. That Tuesday work for a bit? Okay. Sure? All right. Yes, sir. I'll buy all the ingredients. I'll make sure I go home and get the all the ingredients and i'll bring my paper and pen she <laughs> gotta go home and get a whole fucking plate <laughs> she's gotta reheat that shut up she's gonna like splash herself like i'm cooking mm. all day yeah, i did all this by myself <laughs> ah, i can't wait okay yeah i can't wait i'm oh. gonna eat some good food y'all but you think your food is pretty solid i'm not even gonna lie it's like for me it was like the first thing i had to get over was like the texture of the injara but once i got over that it wasn't bad right i could i could fuck with it I literally like sit here and crave it. Really? Yeah. It's cause like I literally like I grew up eating injera only, and like I came to America and like my parents they eat injera at home. My parents don't eat out, but like they got me used to like Chick Fil A and all of this. Now it's like something different. I'm like, oh, I want to go get that. And then now that I can't have in jail, that's what you crave. <laughs> and the that's most. what I want the yeah. most. Yeah. Now sometimes I'll be missing like a good okra soup. Do you know what okra is? Oh, like fried. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I just there's some stuff that we use that I realize some Americans don't know what it is. Like curry, I thought that was a like a normal thing, until someone yeah, asked no. me what is it. I'm like. A season, what you mean? So I didn't yeah. really know either. Too. Yeah. I guess like a few years, a few years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah. I just like go, damn country people, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I just like how it's so different, and that's why I was like, it's super cool to see someone like wanted to learn how to cook different things. Yeah. I, say, I like to cook, man. I love it. That's why I'm trying to make it my thing that I do forever. Actually, never mind. It's family recipe. I can't really <laughs> oh, yeah, teach it's you. Family nah, recipe. Nah, y'all don't got that. Remember, y'all don't got that. <laughs> I don't want it. Uh, that's hilarious. Yeah. I'll go to YouTube. Uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's not going to be the same. It's though. not going to be the same. Not even remotely. Like, at all. The fact no. she put it on YouTube makes her a scammer, to be honest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. I really want some Indian food, though. I've, I've never it. had Indian food. Really? Yeah. But I heard it's really spicy. Oh, yeah. And I want to try it. Have you ever had Indian or cooked? Nope. What's mm-hmm. something you haven't cooked? Or, like, what's a country or, like, a ethnicity you haven't cooked that you really want to try? Ethiopian, uh, Nigerian, yeah. Indian. Let's see what else. Yeah, all African. Oh, <laughs> that'd be uh, kind of cool. Yeah. I only try Nigeria and Ethiopian, and and a lot. Of, I feel like a lot of African, like the neighboring countries, they tend to be like kind of the same way. Because mm. like we have a jollof rice, but we, like Nigeria and Ghana always argue about whose rice is better, yeah, but it's lucky the same thing. I think. I'm just like the family, the banana puddings and all that. Uh, yeah, basically. 
See, y'all got the same thing. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Uh, can't wait to learn. I got plenty of time. No, facts. We got Tuesday. I'm about to learn some two. two <laughs> we gonna yeah. hold you up to. It. That's uh, fine. Okay. Yeah. You free Tuesday? I am. Well, I'll be. I'll she make is it. Not, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say less. Okay. I love it. You know how it's it's kind of weird to me how like you know America has the same old recipes or like food for everyone like it's chicken or barbecue or some shit mm-hmm. and then you go to Africa and everyone has just like it's just not the same you know what I mean what like you, mean? you go to Texas and then you go to Colorado and they still have the same thing just, oh, just made the same way yeah just like a different type. a different way yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like in Africa, everyone has like their own, their thing. own thing. Like I didn't know about po- like fufu. Like we did. I mean, really? maybe there At is, all. but I just never no. knew about fufu. Yeah. Because you have your, you're in Jara, so why would you? <laughs> okay. No, for real, like that's why. Because like fufu and Jara are the same th- or used for the same thing type shit. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I never thought about that. Like that's that. like if. Texas only made barbecue, and then like Louise, oh, if Louisiana only made gumbo, and that wasn't shit. Right there. <laughs> you really have to go to like Louisiana to get yeah. some gumbo. Mm-hmm. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> that's why I'm over here. Like, like oh, hold on. that was deep, low key. <laughs> Imagine how much it would cost just to like get gumbo shipped to New York. Jeez. Mm. That's what we have to do, pretty much. Like, I don't think you can make food food in America. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure it's shipped overseas. Yeah. So, like, you could probably make it here, but it probably won't be the same. So, I feel like they have to ship it overseas. So, like, imagine having to ship some crawfish to New York or Texas. Or, like, it's kind of like avocados from Mexico. Crawfish (laughs) from Louisiana. Yeah. That'd be lit. Ah, shit. The government's going to steal this idea. (laughs) No one's getting crawfish. Oh, that's a good one right there. (laughs) Yeah. Anyways, guys. How long have we been in here? Not long enough. Oh, shit, I didn't record now. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's time to go home. <laughs> it's been like, a little oh, over 40 minutes. Ah. Okay. Any goodbyes you want to say? What you got planned after this? Go make me something to eat, probably work out. Damn, Look, work. y'all can work out together now. Why don't you have a, a membership? I do. I mm-hmm. just don't be going. Oh my gosh! I got. I go to. I got dumbbells in my room. Or I, he do. <laughs> oh, I go. Uh, I've been had since high school. Or I go to uh, apartment gyms with my homies or something. Because sometimes they don't got a gym membership. membership. I just got it just in case. I go. It's only ten dollars. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Thanks. But you go to Finish Connection, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, that's why you don't see me up there. Where? As a uh, Finish Connection. Yeah, that's where you have a membership at? Mm-hmm. That's right. I'm surprised you don't go. They got a hoop. Especially, like, located around this time. I remember last summer I went, it was just, like, a bunch of D1 students up there that came back <laughs> in town. I, like, went, and all I saw was, like, Alabama, Cali, mm-hmm. like, just repping their school. I'm just like, yeah, time for me to go. Because I just like doing it for cardio. So I'm not trying to go out there and just get freaking hey, dunked on. You get better, just, man. Nah. Never that <laughs> deep. <laughs> Gotta work my way up there. Start yeah. like D3. <laughs> yeah. He's not that good. My uh, brother nah. dunked him yesterday. Wow. Yeah. Just only. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we uh, really feel like you're curious. <laughs> Y'all can watch the vlog from yesterday, huh? Oh, it's on, it's on YouTube. Nah, yeah. It's going to be on YouTube oh, next week. Oh, he didn't do that. Are you really going to post that? That's embarrassing. They'll see what I post. <laughs> the video yeah. don't lie. Mm. Can't, was he tall? Huh? Was no. He tall? Oh. No. He's shorter than him. Nah, he just, yeah. Hey, bro, believe what you want to believe. He's, what? He, is, he's 5'4", right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he dunked. He dunked him. Period. Like 10 foot. Yep. 5'4". I don't even think she understands how like unbelievable that sounds. Really? <laughs> yeah, five foot. I'm five four. That's yeah. like twice his height almost, and he jumped that high. I'm five eleven, six foot, 
six two on a good day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can, can you dunk on a good day? On a good yeah. <laughs> so what's like the average height for a man? Like five ten, five yeah, nine. Five eleven, yeah, five. Some shit like that. Mm. Why? I'm just like <laughs> just trying to like <laughs> Yeah, nothing. Mm. Anything you want to get off your chest, Bethlehem? No, um, not really. Yeah. Um, it was nice chatting with you, <laughs> Drex. Yes, it was. Yeah. Anything you want to get off your chest? Last time, what was it? Uh, Dexter Laboratory? Drexter. Drexter. With the eye. You yeah. good, you good. Drexter this ain't the show. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the kitchen. Dress is laboratory. Uh, Chef Boy Adrex, at Chef Boy Adrex on Twitter and Instagram. Maybe he'll have it somewhere over here. <laughs> I lucky like that. What you said, this not the show, this the this kitchen. This the kitchen, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm lucky stuck on now. I was like, Fresh on the head. <laughs> you should make that yeah, like a sure. logo yeah. or something. That's all Yeah, space. write it down. <laughs> yeah, not the show, it's the kitchen. Yep. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Well. Yeah. Like that was creative, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Every, we I feel like accomplished every, something. I feel like every podcast, someone says like a really good quote. I'm just like, all right. Uh, I like that. That's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's going on a t-shirt soon. Yeah. But yeah, if you made it this far, I'd like to say thank you. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, do your thing. And I'll see y'all next week, I guess. See you later, alligators. <laughs>